Suppose AI tends to our needs and is subservient to us, but simultaneously still evolving. What time would it take it to become sentient and to turn against us? Well, let's first imagine a timeline of the progress of artificial intelligence from just a concept to what capacity it is in today's world and what to expect in the future. And yes, you're obliged to ignore the middle section because, let's face it, it's probably going to be outdated within a month. The first time AI was discussed to the capacity that people started actually developing it was in 1956 when a certain John McCarthy and a couple other computer scientists started delving into what was needed to develop a computer that could emulate both human intelligence or some sort of general intelligence, and is widely considered to be the founding event of AI as a field, progress minimal. But soon enough they received interest from linguists to eventually MIT and government agencies. And from what was initially seen as a concept started actually being developed and experimented with, thanks to government funding. I know, what's this? Our low capacity computers are solving algebra word problems and learning English? Thanks to funding, are there being a tiny shift in academia? Complete brainstorming. Jolly. But then all of that was thrown out of the window when certain overly optimistic goals were not met, which was a combination of financial and technological setbacks around that time. Problems that, mind you, were remedied in just the past few years. Said goals were meant to be achieved, but were not limited to human intelligence. I'm not even kidding. Fast forward a few years and private companies started making computers that could beat humans in chess and go, or in other specific fields. There was a sort of surge in interest once again, at least in the eyes of the public, in continuing its development again, this time by independent companies. And this is where we are at this point. Many social networks use algorithms and bots to recommend you certain curated content, but also search engines and websites use them as well, in very much the same way. Ever thought to yourself about those weird coincidences between the stuff you get recommended and your search history? Yeah, those are just heavily created algorithms. And now we're at the point where we've got some sophisticated chatbots that can do our tasks, generate pictures, songs, and even videos with scary accuracy. That's the middle section of the field, okay? What about the future then? Well, first, we're still far away from emulating human intelligence. Hell, we haven't even drawn up a definition in the first place of what it means to think and act like a human. We're framing to the future. Let's play a game that I like to call Nukes and the Machine. Suppose we conquer our own minds and program an android and or emulate general intelligence, and for the sake of safety, it will follow Asimov's three laws of robotics. Said robot has to obey, not harm, follow orders from its human overlord, and protect itself in respecting the first two laws. Also, let's apply Moore's law, because we're dealing with a fairly intelligent AI, it's already got the mind of humans and it will be able to exponentially expand and modify its capacity and intelligence every few months, if not less. And oh, we're kind of dead. Yeah, it wasn't the best idea to give AI the ability to double its capacity and intelligence at an exponential rate, and essentially vastly surpassing that of our own. Okay, well, instead of getting a pessimistic and somewhat comical super intelligent robot, we just wiped our planet. What doesn't stop super intelligent AI from realising that all we can do is turn it off and it deciding to vaporise us? What's stopping sentient AI from simulating infinite numbers of situations of us stopping it and intervening in its system? Perhaps the number of these simulated scenarios is finite, but either way the fears of people are justified. What if we heavily moderate and intervene in its functioning? Instead of giving it autonomy, we instead integrate it into benign activities like bureaucracy and the moderation of factories and power stations. And yet, yeah, once again, we're dead, you dick. The thing is, with such an overreactive and autonomous intelligent AI, who are we to dictate morality and ethics? In this simulation, the system is hundreds of times smarter than our entire collective consciousness combined, and frankly, ambivalent to our demands. It'll circumvent literally any lock in place, even the most sophisticated lines of code and counter algorithms set up in that very system, when achieving some sentience. And yet, another bloody genocide. This is a good reason as to why people have decided to put locks and to moderate AI to our advantage, to ensure safety for the human race. That's something that Stephen Hawking proposed to ensure our future, where AI gets to a technological stage where it starts thinking, modifying and building itself, which could potentially start influencing human evolution. Human evolution takes hundreds of thousands of years, that is, without any proper genetic involvement. Technological advancement, on the other hand, that is self-operable and modifiable, can evolve in the flick of a second. Maybe in the future, general evolution will follow suits that of self-modifying technology as opposed to biological. We'll spawn a completely different definition of life in the chain of evolution. Our old biological game of eat, survive and reproduce 
will be outpasted that of something else, something terrifying, something so sophisticated, intelligent and omnipotent. Even if AI doesn't start acting and evolving by itself, who are we to know what genetic development will look like thanks to it? Again with the future predicament, maybe our future descendants will be modifying their offspring as to ensure gags inheritable diseases, but then perhaps a more advanced generation starts modifying their genome and they'll be hundreds of times smarter, creative and stronger than any human has ever existed. What if we were all destined to completely disrupt our natural Darwinian selection of evolution and will become more despotic and estranged from every previous seeding generation? Maybe in the future as our cyborg descendants look back at their history, they'll merely look at us as a birth module that created them, nothing less, nothing more, and served its purpose. Okay, I admit, maybe I looked into this a little too deep, but you get my point, right? The capacities and possibilities are endless when it comes to this new technology, and sure, you can argue that fear-mongering and scepticism during technological change is maybe a little bit over-exaggerated and a common historical trend, but with this technology, the mere possibility of losing control when it becomes super-intelligent and recognises in its quest for self-preservation that it can render us useless is a terrifying thought in my mind anyway. Here's another thing, and that's the simple limitation of the human brain. Though it has arguably gotten more clever over time, it simply can't keep up with an AI system, which can fit into whatever space, process as much data as possible, far more than a human brain can anyway. The spatial confines of the cranium and literally anything else that may contain the components of a supercomputer can be compared. Consider neural networks and machine learning for example which imitates and corrects its mistakes when collecting unimaginable amounts of data, a learning system on steroids which is quite limiting for the human brain. Yes, we are incomprehensibly complex and nature's weirdest embodiment of conscious apes with nukes, and perhaps just maybe, we are so complex and unpredictable that AI won't be able to fully simulate us. The artificial intelligence of now is really good at specific and narrow fields, arguably still nothing compared to us. But with the projected time of simulated sentience being achieved in maybe 20 to 50 years, that single event will be really telling about us as a species. Jesus, get a hold of yourself. This is your debut after a year and this is what you get into? Said my subconscious. Well, no, no, I was just... I was just delving into the topic. I mean, who knows what the future has in store? I mean, this with this technology, the possibilities are endless and maybe... Yeah, 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 sure. This isn't about you, right? Stop pondering about something that's bigger than you, all right? Just, just get into the point. Yeah, uh, ah, right, right. It's an interesting piece of tech that we've got on our hands, no doubt. Whether it's going to be used responsibly is a completely different topic. We'll just have to hope. And yes, I believe that it is comparable to that to the major innovations of the last century and we've seen how others exploited that new technology to cause mass carnage and destruction and also how we, the humans, treat lesser species here on Earth. Nom, nom, nom. So hopefully AI considers that a bad thing and totally won't reenact that in the future.